All right, so today I have a quick topic for you. I've been working on bikes for a while and I have replaced, you know, a lot of like, you know, uh, sprockets or kind of sprockets, rear sprockets. And some from time to time, when you're looking and reading about bikes, you hear people say, this bike is geared too tall, or this bike is geared too short, or maybe people start talking about ratios and they say, oh, my, my gearing ratio is 2.5 or maybe 3.10. What does that mean? So anyhow, today we're going to be using my GSX-S1000 as an example to show you how changing the sprocket has a very specific nomenclature when people start talking about your gearing and maybe minus one plus one. Have you ever heard that before? So what that means? So I'm just going to walk you through what that means today and we're just going to be at least learning something. So next time you read about it, you feel more comfortable with what you're reading. Let's go to it. For illustration purposes, I'm going to be using paint on the counter sprocket to kind of leave a little bit of a mark so that every time I'm doing the rotation, you guys can follow along with me and counting the rotations. On the rear, I'm using that lettering at the bottom of the sprocket just to kind of use it as a reference of a single rotation for the rear sprocket. So you can probably see that I'm rotating the sprocket one time and I'm going to continue now rotating the sprocket. This is two times. Um, if you keep the you know uh, eyes on the rear, we haven't gone through a single rotation. And now I'm completing my third rotation on the front sprocket and now one rotation on the rear sprocket. What that means, let's just take a look at it right now. Okay, this is another way to look at it. So following the example as before, now we have the two sprockets in here. You know, we're not gonna be rotating this, but this is just to kind of make a better example of what I was trying to convey. So this is the front sprocket and we, it has 15 teeth. Don't count them. This is just an exercise. And then let's think that the one at the rear has 47, similar to the current setup on my bike. So I have those two small markings at the bottom. Those markings are going to be a representation of what I'm trying to say. So that means that for each rotation of the, the rear sprocket, we are going to have three rotations of the counter sprocket. That's, that's exactly what we saw on the previous example on that video. So the counter sprocket was rotating three times before the rear completes a single rotation. It's actually a little bit more than, than uh, three times. It's actually 3.1. So how we get to that? If you, this is just a simple mathematical equation. If you divide the, the, the tooth on the rear by the amount of teeth on the counter sprocket you're going to get your ratio which means that 47 divided by 15 will give you a 3.1 times that your front sprocket has to rotate before a full rotation is completed on the rear sprocket for years i've been using the website the sprocket calculator so after you get past the annoying ads that you're going to be looking at that means from time to time this is a great tool for you to understand how much torque you're gaining when you're making gearing changes or losing torque and how much speed you're either getting or losing by you know adding a new combination to your bike. So it's very important that you're going to be using your baseline, which in this case is a 1744. That's what the bike comes from factory at a 2.59 gear ratio. And now if I look at my current setup, which is 1547, that will bring me to a 3.13 and a gain of 17.4% torque and a, and a reduced speed or top speed of 17.4%. This is super cool because we go, before you go into the web to uh, purchase some equipment, you can actually take a look at what that's going to do on your bike whenever you have it installed. All right, so I hope that illustration was actually good for you. Um, last thing we have to address is the minus and the pluses that you keep hearing all the time. Minus one, minus, plus one. That means if you take the GSX, for example, the baseline gearing on a GSX, when you buy it from the factory, it's a 17 kind of sprocket and a 44 rear sprocket. So if you hear someone saying my GSX is running minus one plus one, that means that someone is running a kind of a 16 teeth kind of sprocket and a, in a, a 45 or yeah, and a 45 rear sprocket. That means that this person is running minus one from factory in the front and then plus one in the rear. So if we take that to my example, in my example, I'm running a 15 counter sprocket and a 47 rear sprocket. So that means that I'm running a minus two plus three. 
this is pretty significant and there, there's some reasoning behind it i was just doing some drag racing and, and that's the combination I, I found for myself and my type of riding and my skill level you know to be the most successful and, and, and successful for me i guess so that that means one thing that i want you to keep in mind if, if you haven't gone through gearing um going up or going down a, a one tooth on the front sprocker it's about an equivalent of like three doing a change by three count like tooth on the rear sprocket so just keep that in mind if you're thinking about changing your gearing so last thing i want to cover is tall gearing versus short gearing so if you think about someone just jumping on your bike and say wow your gearing is very short which is probably what people are going to say about my bike that means that you go through shift very often because there's an increased torque and the gearing allows for short shifts. And that means that I have a reduced top end based on what I had with my 1744 originally. Then if someone says, oh man, you're tall, you're, you're not me, but your gearing is very tall. So that means that you're not shifting that often and that means that your gearing it's spaced out in a way that allows for very long gearings and and as a as a result of that you have a very top um high top end or high speed you know that you're not able to do on my bike with my current setup so i hope the illustration was good for you and i just wanted to put out this like call, i mean very short video about this topic i just want to say thank you for you watching this video because i know there's so many channels you can be watching right now so i want to say uh, i show you my appreciation and if you find this topic you know useful for you and maybe for other people please share it with other people and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I'll, i appreciate it if you do because it helps me to put out more content and to understand what means this for other people so thank you for supporting mm -hmm.